So do you need to acid etch or diamond grind your concrete? Well, that really depends on the type of coating you're applying. Let's get into it. All right, let's start with acid etching. This process uses muriatic acid to eat away at the concrete surface, opening up the pores. A lot of people prefer acid etching because it's just faster and cheaper than grinding. In some cases, you can get away with just etching, but if it's not done right, it can lead to coating failure or even damage the concrete. Now, here's what you need to know. Acid etching can only achieve a maximum concrete surface profile, or CSP, of one. If you don't etch enough, the pores won't open properly and the coating won't bond. If you etch too much, you could actually damage the concrete. Oh, and another thing to consider is that acid etching creates dust and sludge as it works. That dust has to be completely removed before applying any coating or it could compromise the bond. Acid etching also requires neutralization. You see, if the concrete isn't properly neutralized, well, the acid will keep eating away at the surface and weaken the coating. Now, during the neutralization process, the concrete is temporarily saturated with a neutralizer like diluted ammonia or a baking soda and water solution. Once it's neutralized, a large volume of water is used to rinse everything away. But here's the problem. If the concrete isn't fully dried after this process, moisture left behind in the pores can lead to discoloration and even coating failure. And here's something else to think about. When you apply acid to concrete, you don't have much control over how it reacts. That means you could end up with an uneven texture, and that variation in the surface will only be more noticeable once you apply a coating. All right, now let's talk about grinding. As a coating manufacturer, we always recommend diamond grinding. It gives you the best surface profile for bonding, which directly affects how long your coating lasts and how well it performs. And when it's done right, it also creates a smooth, consistent finish. But here's the key. Grinding alone isn't enough. Cleaning is just as important. Once you've ground the surface, you need to make sure all the concrete dust and particles are completely removed. And if they are, the coating will bond to the dust instead of the concrete itself, which can lead to peeling or delamination. Concrete coatings are a great option for many interior floors, but they have to be applied correctly. If they're not, you could end up with discoloration, inconsistent coloring, and an uneven finish, or even total coating failure. That's why it's always best to check the manufacturer's technical data sheet to make sure your surface prep meets their requirements. Now, do all coatings require acid etching or grinding? Not necessarily. While etching or grinding is usually recommended for epoxy and urethane coatings, some coatings don't need either. So let's take concrete wax, for example. It has to be applied to a smooth concrete floor or an existing coating. If you put it on an acid etched or ground surface, they're going to run into problems like discoloration, gloss variation, and coating failure. And another example is acrylic sealers. Most acrylic sealers can be applied to a clean, dry, and absorbent surface. But if the concrete has been polished or is too smooth to absorb water, then acid etching or grinding may be required. I mean, if water can't soak into the surface, the acrylic sealer won't be able to either. And if you're applying an acrylic sealer indoors and aren't sure if you need to etch or grind, it's best to check with the manufacturer of the product you're using. And one last thing to talk about. The condition of the concrete matters just as much as the type of coating you're using. If the floor has an uneven texture, inconsistent coloring, or other imperfections, grinding may be necessary to create a more uniform surface. Most coatings won't hide imperfections. In fact, they'll actually make them stand out even more. So if you're not sure whether your surface needs additional prep before applying a coating, we say it's always best to consult with the coating manufacturer before getting started. All right, we hope this clears things up. And if you found this useful, be sure to check out www.foundationarmor.com for more expert advice, product recommendations, and top quality concrete sealers and coatings. Until next time, thanks for watching.